Welcome to a new video tutorial by Crocfix. Let's see today what are the upgrade options on your Lenovo IdeaPad 3 17 inch laptop. If you need parts or tools like SSD or RAM upgrades, I have provided the links in the video description. Let me know if the video did help you and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we have here today a laptop which is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 17 inch. The correct model is um, IdeaPad 3 17 ABA7. So I'm going to show you how to open it and how to uh, put in additional RAM or just upgrade your SSD. So let's go and disassemble this thing. Firstly, I'm going to remove this protection here. Then I'm going to do following. Of course, I'm going to put here a protective cloth, so we want we don't want to do any scratches. And then we are going to turn it around. And you will see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Phillips screws which needs to be unscrewed. So let's proceed and unscrew these screws. They are probably all the same length, so they are not different in size. Let's speed up this video a little bit. So as I see the bottom screws which are on the opposite side of the hinge of the hinge uh, uh, screen hinge are shorter. So these four screws are shorter. Put them by side so you know where they belong. There we go. So after we have unscrewed the screws, we need to do a gap between this rear plastic here and the middle frame. So we are going to try to make a gap somewhere here. Let's see where is the best option. Best thing is to firstly lift up this towards you and we try to make a gap here. So there is a nice way to go this from the left side here as you will see you just push a little bit towards to that side and this one to the all to the opposite side just try to um, you know what i mean like to separate them and then you put the plastic tool here inside between to make uh, the gap larger once you will be in it's easier. So there we go. And then you just go and separate it. Carefully, there are some plastic clips inside. You don't want to damage them. This is always the best to go with a plastic tool because some um, metal tools can damage the plastic. So let's go on the other side here. And 
there we go so now I'm going to try this from the right side here I want to show you how it looks like from this side here if you want maybe a better view experience then let's go here to to the end here there we go now we will probably need to put it down again and then try to go here around try to lift it up just a little bit so you will hear the click sounds and then you go with the plastic tool just around and that should be okay then so now we can lift up this cover and we are already here inside the computer so now what we are going to do I'm going to show you the type uh, and model uh, name of the battery just in case you want to replace the battery uh, for replacing the battery you will have one two uh, three four screws which needs to be detached uh, firstly disconnect the battery here I'm gonna zoom in disconnect the battery always before you do some work on the computer then we are going to show you how to disassemble the battery there we go and you can lift up the battery there it is so just attached with the four screws here and you can reinsert the battery again there we go and put back the four screws here okay now so now we go and we replace the SSD the SSD is here in the right corner and for replacing it you will firstly need to unscrew this screw here then you just carefully take out the SSD and you take your new one which you want to insert in our um, position we have the Lexar NM620 with one terabyte of uh, space so let's just open this goes you have to watch and look here for the uh, pins so the short ones go to the right side and the longer goes to the left side just insert it put it down and then we just screw back this one screw you don't need to screw this very strong because it's just holding it in place so just give it a normal normal strength now we are going to uh, put in additional RAM 
So for this, we are going to lift up this uh, metal. So I'm gonna zoom in. You have to go here by side, lift it up. There we go. Take your additional RAM. We have here additional 8 gigs of RAM from A Data, DDR4, and 3200 megahertz. So uh, the RAM is always going with a sticker up, and the short uh, pin contacts go here, the longer one here. So we are going to put this in and then press it down. That's it. Then we take back the metal plate here and put it back where it belongs. There are some kind of clips here and you put the um, metal plate in this clips inside. It's pretty straightforward and pretty easy, so... There we go. Now we just uh, reattach the battery again. There we go. And that's it is in our case. So if you want to know some other parts, this is the CMOS battery, which needs to be maybe replaced in a couple of years, just in case your date is not going to work anymore or wrong date shown. So that's the heat sink with the ventilation, ventilation with the ventilator here with a fan. And uh, basically that's actually it. In some cases, maybe you would need to replace the speaker or maybe just the screen. So, but for this repair, this is it. There is a place here for additional uh, SSD or HDD uh, drive. Uh, there is no cable connector, uh, but you can buy one. It's probably going to be connected here. There is a, sometimes you can buy a kit for it. We can have a look if it's uh, inside the box, but I haven't seen it so far. I have checked, unfortunately it's not in the box, so you will have to buy a separate if you want to uh, add additional hard drive. So this is it, you take the back cover and then we are going to put it back here in place. Just be carefully, when it's aligned, you gently press in the corners and everywhere around. There we go. Let me check if this is attached. Should be fine. Then we are going to screw back all the screws. So the short four goes on the bottom side, on the opposite side, opposite uh, side of the hinges. And there we go, that's your upgraded laptop now. If you need any parts or tools or something 
for the links for the SSD and for the RAM I have provided in my video description. Just click on more under the video and you will find the links where you can buy the stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If the video did somehow help you, then you can buy me a coffee. Donations are always appreciated. Thank you. You find a donation link in my about page and in the video description. Please also like, comment and share the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.